Well, hello, commanders, engineers, city planners, Uncle Jay here. And once again, you find us standing on the Betsy Mark II armor uh, transport cargo hauler. Hmm. Armored cargo transport. That's it. That's it. So, um, yeah, it's almost done. It's like 98% done. Just, uh, I'm done with the structure. I'm done with the inside as far as placing blocks. Um, I think I am anyway. I, I've left room, plenty of room open for, um, upgrades. So, uh, I guess we'll just go around the outside and see what I've done. And then go on the inside, see what I've done. And, uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, a few outside changes I have made is I added two extra reverse thrusters tucked in here. I really would have liked to put one large hydrogen thruster in, but uh, I'd have to lose this cannon, and um, I don't want to lose the cannon. I really don't. That's the only changes up front here. I hid another parachute hatch under here, so we have three up front. The other two are, um, they're hidden in there somewhere. I added another two midship parachute hatches. So we have four in the middle, three up front, and then we have four in the back, which uh, seems to be enough. So I'm happy with that. As far as that's concerned, nothing up here has changed other than I added in a beacon, which um, show, says the uh, armored cargo transport is labeled and that's separate from the name of the ship that's on the antenna then I just added these little uh, decoration pieces to uh, give it a little protection um, as far as what else on the outside I made sure all my car container containers were labeled with the proper ammo and stuff I had to redo that but so far all of everything else outside on this part did not change at all now under here turn my lights on we have a whole lot of changes besides these more thrusters I added in I also added in a lot more small thrusters which meant we had to lose some of our landing gears which um, I'm okay with I think there was probably a a little bit too many anyway now the fit four up front from the two I had to lose two of the uh, hydrogen tanks unfortunately but um I added them back in but to add them back in I had to lose two of the large cargo containers which I'm okay with because it was causing um, problems with not being able to lift at 50% in 1g so 50% is now going to be three large car containers instead of four. And with extra thrusters, I think it should solve our, uh, our lifting issues in 1G. Now, the problem with this ship is it's armored. So it's, it's half heavy, half light armor. It's meant to protect the cargo, not just move it. So we have a lot of overhead in ship weight, which reduces our cargo capacity. But that's what I was kind of planning and aiming for, so yeah. Now I might change this for a piston. I, I haven't decided yet. Maybe. So let's head inside. Our first airlock. And I'm using Izzy Simple Doors. Now these take us to the maintenance area of the back, and it's the only way to get to the back to do maintenance. These doors, there's a sensor on the other side and a good old fashioned timer that closes them. Then here we are in the guts of her rear. Kind of walk around, you can weld stuff up. And hmm, color difference there. Hmm, okay, might have to address that. If we come in here, I squeezed in two more jump drives, so we have eight jump drives now. As you can see, we have plenty of room for um, extra bits and bobs to uh, want to add stuff in, come in, do repairs. Now, I did have to drop two large hydrogen tanks back here that were for ship power. So I may um, add in a bunch of small hydrogen tanks. 
we got the room for it, so I might do that to kind of make up the, uh, the difference. And we have a full-size assembler and a basic refinery, so there's two on each side. I thought adding some production for uh, emergency repairs and whatnot is uh, necessary. And then this over here is um, all the same. Just drop back down, head inside. Now originally I had hatches here, but I couldn't get in the door. Couldn't walk in the door. And we have some refineries. Let's turn our lights off. We have another set of double doors here. So it's like a double, this would be a bulkhead right here. So there's an airlock at the bulkhead. Jump drives are exposed on the inside, but they are uh, they got some safety grating on them. Our assembler access, I thought this was important that you could physically access the assembler. And here we are in the, um, the main living area, I guess I would say. We have <clears throat> full medical. We have our kitchen table. We have our recliners with our TV. It's on channel five right now. Um, nothing on those yet. I think one will probably be a clock and um, I don't know yet. We have a jukebox. We have Mr. Coffee, which has Izzy's door on it. And then we have Mr. Radar, which has LCD 2 on it, which I haven't set up yet. Because I always like to drink coffee while reading, watching Mr. Radar. We have our shield uh, gen uh, controller right here. We have our projector on and off, which I haven't set up yet because the blueprint's not finalized. And then I added some uh, battery rattle timers. I probably should add a sound block. And it does more than just turn turns the, uh, the lights off. In fact, let's just go into the timer and I will show you guys. Timer battle ready and uh, set up action. So we're going to turn the jukebox off, turn off our internal lights, turn off our external lights, but leaving the spotlights on. Make sure our shields are up, turn on our battle lights, turn the TV off because you shouldn't be watching TV during a battle. Turns our beacon off, our antenna off, and then make sure it turns our, all our turrets on just in case they're turned off. And then the other one, Battle Safe Timer, does everything opposite in, um, except the, uh, leaves the turrets on. It doesn't turn them off. And I did that on purpose. But that, this also doesn't include the defense turrets, which target, um, meteors and missiles. That's all the, um, interior turrets that are around the ship. Those stay on all the time. So, yeah. We have our daily needs blocks in. Now these blocks are separate from the rest of the ship. So you get a card container and then the two blocks. And the reason I keep it separate is because if we're hauling ice, the water recycler will just suck in as much ice as it can and it will just keep popping out drink packets. And we don't want to do that. So we have our dinners, we have our lunches, we got our breakfast and plenty of ketchup. So we don't run out. Well, we have 20 meals hmm, for four people. No, it'd be 20 meals for eight people. Hmm. I think we might have to increase our, our rations. Hmm. All right. Um, yeah, because this is going to be first shift, and then over there is second shift, or it could be the other way around. Uh, a captain, a navigator, an engineer, and a uh, cargo load specialist. 12 hour shifts. And uh, I think I need to add some more lighting in here. Hmm. Okay. Yes, need more lighting. Oh, I never did add more bathrooms in. I was going to add more bathrooms in. Erg. All right. My bad. My bad, guys. So before we head up front, let's um head up to the main bridge. And this is the main bridge. This is going to be the main operation center right here. We'll fly the ship from here. Then the other guy, the system's... Weapons control will be over here. And then just a little a little meaning area. And then the one these down here are, will actually probably be the end up being the main ones. But this is more like the uh, battle bridge. 
All right, let's uh, let's check out the what I did on the inside. We have some shelving number uh, one, two, and three on both sides. We have plenty of connectivity in here. Um, I think when I did that last test, there was probably close to 99 gyros. I think we're down to like 78 right now, I think. Less gyros. And you see we have these walkways here. So we can get in and we can repair these gyros if we need to. And we can also come in here and uh, repair thrusters if we need to. So plenty of uh, accessibility. And here is another bulkhead to separate our cargo from our hydrogen tanks in case of a uh, explosion. So these are um, these are all cargo uh, armored cargo, and these are heavy armor. Probably should turn my lights on. But yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three. So six and six. Now we could come up here or we could also walk down there we have a oxygen tank I think I have a couple oxygen tanks on board now I'm not sure how many actually we should probably check that out we have five okay some more reactors last uh, last test seemed to be a little light on reactors so I'm kind of hoping I have enough now Is he's going to take care of that Uncle Jay and then here we are on the top deck and then we have um, cargo ports for ships to come and dock to take or load cargo and I don't know if I showed you guys this last time but we have I decided to do an array of four for faster cargo transfer I don't know if it actually does or not a camera to line it up and then a camera to help with initial um, docking at an angle I thought that was kind of cool to have I probably could add some more stuff to this for decoration maybe the uh, the neon tubes a row of black neon tubes that might be a cool idea but yeah I mean that's pretty much the uh, that's pretty much it guys I mean besides the little doodads of just making sure everything's labeled and um, and whatnot it, it, it's it's pretty much done in fact let's just go over we got gravity back here let's just go over the control menu real quick and uh, see how everything is labeled all the groups I still have to um, sort these into their own group and a few other things here so it's not it's not completely finished like these LCDs should um, I'm not sure which ones those are and these need to get sorted and yeah there's there's plenty of things that still need to be taken care of and tidied up we go into our inventory on the ship you can see um, I have everything labeled now I like to take out all the extra wording that they put on stuff these are the turrets with their all their ammo uh, cargo container ammo, ammo Gatlin hmm usually I have the positions of these labeled this might be the top one airlock cargo crew left cargo crew right uh, control seats I need to take out of inventory our defense turrets they're labeled where they're at so everything has its uh, place hmm okay they need some ammo do I have any ammo? hmm alright so we need to finish um, taking care of stuff like that hydrogen tanks I'm not sure yet maybe these ones I'll probably take out of inventory then I'll add uh, two small ones in for bottles I think that's a I think that's a good idea this one is the turret at the back of the door and then we have a turret that is missing ammo hmm and these are the trade ones 
and I need to take this stuff out and get it where it needs to be. But yeah. And then I have all the O2 H2 generators full of ice. And all the parachute hatches full. And all of the reactors full, 20 each. So what I did was all the um, cargo containers for ammo, I'm going with 50 each. Reactors 20 and um, maxing out the uh, O2 H2 generator. So this blueprint will come with, um, it won't be empty, it won't be dry weight. It will be functional. So I guess the only thing left to do is really to, uh, to test it. Go back down to the 1G and see how it handles empty. See how it handles it at uh, 50%. Hopefully I have time to do that on this holiday weekend because I didn't think I was going to have time to record today. All right, let's get into it. We are here in a uh, high altitude orbit, I guess, hmm, of the Earth Lake above our ice lake with our divots in the ice from our last tests. Now, I'm not going to do a parachute test, but I would like to do some uh, maneuvering tests. So let's do a uh, side test real quick. So we are definitely very slow on our side thrust, even though our whole side is thrusters. But um, yeah, it's just the nature of the beast. I don't want to use cheat gyros on this. I also am not using uh, any of the blocks from the, uh, the newest DLC, the automatons, yes. I decided not to use any of those blocks, no event controllers, no fancy sensors, no signs, none of those blocks. And I decided to stay with the uh, vent, conveyor vent mod. I didn't want to change that out because I want to keep all the mods the same between all three classes of Betsy's. And uh, I guess we'll just do a drop test real quick. Turn all of our thrusters off. And then we will uh, turn all of them on real quick as soon as we hit max speed. Max speed. I think that's a pretty good recovery speed empty. As you can see, we are uh, we are pretty much empty here. Just uh, mostly our dry mass. I took everything else out of uh, inventory that wasn't needed. And parachutes are uh, apparently still on auto deploy. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, screw it. We'll just let the parachutes do their job and we'll just uh, see you on the ground. All right, we are locked on the ground. We are empty. So let's do a quick unlock and let's just thrust up real quick. Some really good speed empty. So the only thing left now is to fill half our uh, cargo containers. So let's come back down, nice and gentle. Turn on our auto lock. All right, we are locked to the ground. Let's head down to our cargo containers. All right, so we're going to fill, let's just fill one side and let's go with, um, let's just go with ice or, um, I for ice. Here we go. Nine, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we're just going to click it a whole bunch. I never did figure out how many clicks it takes to get to the center of a cargo container. Let's ask Mr. Al. Alright, so that should give us 50% cargo capacity for our trade containers. Not 50% capacity for overall ship cargo capacity so how do we how do we measure that 
because I've been going with the 48% rule because as you can see by the bar we're not at 50% we're at about 48% 45% but we're 50% on our trade cargo containers but we would be hauling to um, from the mines or the mining claims to the space stations for processing so we have to kind of keep in mind those uh, those metrics or measurement so all right here we go guys a lot better a lot better than last time definitely a lot better now I know what you're thinking Uncle Jay it's only 50% cargo on 1G and you're right it is but you have to keep in mind these ships were designed and built to operate in space and low gravity bodies they weren't meant for 1G bodies but I want them to be capable of 1G bodies at 50% that's the that's the standard that's the metric we're going for and um, I'm I'm happy I'm happy unlike the first two tests I am completely happy with what we have yeah let's do uh, let's see how she climbs let's uh, get some uh, horizontal speed first before we do our gravity turn of course it's not really a quite proper gravity turn I mean there's no um, it's not like we have to reach orbital velocity or anything and as far as the whole SpaceX Kerbal Space Program project that I was working on um, I think that's just gonna be dead for right now unfortunately I hate to say that but I am going back to work full-time this summer starting tomorrow and I don't know if I'm going to physically be able to handle it. So we're going to see what happens. So I'm pretty much only going to be able to record on Sundays and Mondays. So we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Or I should say full recordings. Not, it won't stop me from doing like short clips without um, voiceover. So trying to climb this way is, is slow. Definitely slow. Be better off doing a uh, deadlift but let's uh let's check our gyros real quick since we've uh, lost we've lost about 20 gyros maybe in the refit let's do our roll test here now we are going to lose a whole bunch of altitude doing this it's just the nature of the beast We are still losing altitude. Why are we still losing altitude? We are no are we nosed up? Or nosed up. And we are still losing altitude. Okay. So we definitely have to rely on our lower thrusters to get us out of atmosphere. So that is good to know. I did blueprint this, so um, I guess the only thing left to do right now is we're going to do a crash test, and um, I'm going to go do some barbecue summary um, Memorial Day weekend stuff, watch the NASCAR race, and they got rained out from yesterday, and all that fun stuff, so commanders, engineers, city planners, this is Uncle Jay.